Hey guys, Rumble Super Saiyan here, back again doing another update video, this time talking about a few things that happened in the last week, or maybe something that's coming in, in the following week. Uh, so, first discussion is going to be game versation, then we're going to talk about why I was in the hospital. Um, if you guys didn't follow me on Twitter, then uh, you guys don't know what I'm talking about, but if you do, I did mention I was in the hospital, I even made a picture of my wrists with a little hospital band and my IV and everything, um, I'll get onto that a little later. Um, and then... We'll close off with um, what I think about update 1.17 so far and also to clarify a little issue with people having similar names to me in whether it's C server, EU, whatever it may be, people are starting to make names that are similar to mine. So Rumbly Superset VG is one or uh, I don't know, Rumbly Superset S I think is another one, Rumbly Supersets. Um, I'll clear that all up for you guys so you guys know if it's me or not. Um, but yeah, so that is today's episode of the, what's it called? Uh, Dude Talk or something. What, what's my series called? Let's, let's check. Bro Talk. <laughs> That's what it was. Bro Talk. Bro Talk number six. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about Gameversation. Gameversation, if you guys didn't already know, is a collaborative channel between myself and Noxbox. We do any games whatsoever, whether it's PC, console, whatever it may be. Um, horror games, action games, fighting games, MOBAs, other MOBAs, whatever. Um, we do all that stuff, and we are whatever is entertaining to us as well as you guys will have potential to show up on the channel. Um, we really, all it is is just us recording our gameplay and just having fun with it with our commentary, and just hopefully not just with ourselves but also with you guys, because uh, that's the main concern for us is being able to entertain you guys. Um, so yeah, that is our new channel. It'll be in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. The status on that channel is we are done recording already a week's worth of content. So we want to make sure we have a good cushion for you guys so that if we do need to pull away from the channel, we still have daily uploads going for you guys. Uh, we want to maintain a daily upload schedule no matter what, 24-7. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully that will transpire the way we want. And I think it will because I think we're doing pretty good with um, our workflow uh, and also the editing sides of things. So that is Gameversation, uh, and Wednesday is probably the latest you'll start seeing daily uploads. Maybe earlier, maybe this coming Monday, but definitely the following Wednesday, or definitely this coming Wednesday, we should be having daily uploads coming to the channel. Uh, we just have a few more things to to, to iron over, uh, getting an intro and then an outro, and then we're good. Uh, so we're definitely excited for that. Um, but yeah, so on to why I was in the hospital. So, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, I don't know why, but follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I'll be in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter in case you guys want to. If you don't, that's fine. But I did post on my Twitter yesterday around 2 o'clock or so that I was in the hospital. Um, I had my little picture of my little uh, my hospital band around my wrist, so they have my information. And then I had my IV in my hand, which now my vein is collapsed and bruised. Ugh. Um, but yeah, so... I was in the hospital, and for what reasons? Well, I, I've i been having this this pain, I don't want to say pain, but a discomfort around my sternum. Uh, that, the sternum is like that center bone that connects your ribs, that protects your hearts as well. Um, so that has been a little bit bothersome for me lately. And yesterday when I went to the hospital, well, before when I did, when I woke up, like I felt like the discomfort was radiating towards my left side. You guys will see me, you know, kind of going over to my right side, according to the video, but it's actually reversed. This is my left side. Um, so the pain kind of, or discomfort kind of radiated towards that side. And I was like, okay, my body is really telling me something is wrong. So before I waited out any longer and find out that I'm going to have a heart attack or I have like a tumor or something, you know, people, when you have issues with your body, you think of the worst case scenario when it's probably nothing too severe. But of course, in my head, I'm just like, I have cancer, yeah, <laughs> something, I don't know. Uh, which, it's not a joke, but that's usually what people think, right? Um, so, uh, I had to get checked. So I went in, uh, I told them, hey, I'm having chest pain. I went to the ER, because I called them and said, hey, I'm not feeling too good, can I make an appointment? And they said, what's wrong with you? I was like, I have chest pain. They're like, oh, go to the ER. I'm like, can I just make an appointment? They're like, we recommend you go to the ER. It's like, okay. So I went to the ER. Um, and then, so I got to the ER, told them I've been having chest pain. And so immediately they told me, lay down, 
we're going to get the EKG, which is a device. I think that's what it's called, the abbreviation EKG, which is a device that monitors your vitals, your hearts, and all that stuff um, to make sure you're not having a heart attack or you're not having palpitations and whatever it may be. Um, so they had that hooked up to me, which is basically a bunch of sensors all over my my um, my torso and my, my chest. Um, and so they monitored me that way, um, and I had to sit there until my x-ray was ready to go. Um, so when it did, they put me in a wheelchair, brought me to the x-ray, got my x-ray, came back to the bed, laid down for another 30 minutes, um, and then they came back and said, uh, oh, and they took my blood too, that's why I had the IV. Uh, they took my blood, uh, they tested my blood for different causes of whatever the pain may be, whether it was, you know, my, my, my heart or my lungs or my liver, because if you guys didn't know, I have fatty liver disease. I've, ha I've been diagnosed for three years now, maybe or four, I think four, almost four years now, uh, where basically uh, it's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, meaning it wasn't induced by, it wasn't, in it wasn't created by this, the me just dousing myself with alcohol um, constantly. It was basically, it's a genetic disorder in my family, and what it does is that there's a lot of fat around your, your liver, uh, no fat jokes. <laughs> this is serious. Uh, this is so like it's a, it's a fat buildup, I guess you would say, around the liver, which your body normally should break down, but it doesn't. Um, and so for me, it's a genetic disorder. My mom has it. My mom is a very petite woman. She's not obese in any way. Um, so she has it. So it's not re weight related. It's more genetic related. Um, just having more weight can cause it to be worse is all. Um, but yeah, so I have that too. And so I thought maybe it was related to, to that, but it turns out it wasn't. So they did test my liver. Uh, they did test my, my baseline, like, I guess, numbers of my enzymes that they test for. And they relate it to what the new ones are today or yesterday. And they turned out fine. So my liver is okay. Um, and then my heart, my lungs were okay, according to the EKG results. Um, and... Uh, everything checked out. He said the only thing that could really happen is maybe it's muscle skeletal, meaning there's a lot of fibers and tendons that are in this area, or just a or all of your body, really, uh, that can cause pain just because maybe you've injured yourself and didn't realize how you did it, or maybe like you were sleeping and you slept a certain way and it's caused pain and it should go away because it's just muscle skeletal for the most part. Um, it just causes a, maybe an inflammation in a certain area that eventually just kind of dissipates. Um, but if it does persist, then I'll have to go back in and get checked again in a few weeks. Uh, but yeah, so far we're okay. I still kind of feel it, but so far, uh, oh, let me check it. <laughs> no, so far we're okay. Um, we're doing fine. Uh, so that is my hospital visit. So that was a little long, little spiel there, but all right. So let's go on to talk about one little topic that's been a little bit of a concern for me is there have been a lot of people saying, hey, I've run into somebody with your name on the C server, whether it's like Rumbly Superset VG or Rumbly Superset VGS, or something like that, some kind of variation of my name. Just so you know, I have not logged on, although this is unfortunate, I have not logged on to EU, C server, or all that stuff, anything outside of NA servers for like seven, eight months. I have not logged on once. So... If you're seeing anybody outside of NA that has Rumbly superset in their name or Rumbly in some fashion in their name, it is not me. Um, so, because a lot of people are talking about, hey, I got, you know, in a party with you on C server, but you were rude as heck. What the hell? You know, it's like, that wasn't me. I, I, I don't, I'm not rude to people in general. <laughs> Unless it's Benton. <laughs> ben, what the fuck, man? <laughs> you suck, Ben. Oh, uh, no, I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, I mean... That's not me. So uh, don't think it is. I only play under the names Rumbly VG, where it has the two tack marks on the front and back. Rumbly VG. I'll put the names in the description down below so you guys know the names. I may not be able to put the tacks because it, YouTube does this weird thing where it puts a line through the name and I put tacks. But I'll try to put it in the description. Um, and then I also go under the alias of VG Rumbly Superset. Uh, capital V, capital R. Um, and then the Rumbly VG was capital R, capital V, and capital G. So, again, I'll put this in the description down below. Those are the only names I play under. I do have names in the C and EU. I do have accounts in those regions. I just haven't played them in the longest time, so there's no way in heck that it's me. And also, the names I'm getting that people are saying that's me, they're not even close to the names that are actually mine in those servers. So, I only play in NA right now. 
So if you see me in any other server other than NA, it's not me. If you see me in NA and it's not those two names I provided, it's not me again. So there we go. Hopefully that clears it out for you guys. Um, and then we have, the last note was update 1.17. What do I think about the update 1.17? So far, I like the balances, although I don't know why. I think it was more I was going against somebody. Big Paws. Big Paws is an amazing player. Good lord. Um, every time I go against some of these high elo laners, I, I, it, it's kind of like I'm not necessarily scared, but excited because I know it's going to be a challenge. And so Big Paws is one of those guys that when I saw him in lane, I'm just like, oh my god, it's like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it's like it's gonna be a challenge from the get go. I'm not the best laner. I'm like, I'm good. Like I would say I'm good, but I'm not the best by any means. And there's people like tons of high elo players that are better than me in lane. Even though it's my main, there are a ton of people who get more pe more practice than I do, and therefore by relation are better than me. Big Paws is one of those guys, and he was playing Jewel, Jewel lane weapon power crit Jewel. And dude, I cannot do anything. All the the energy. Efficiency, efficiency with lightning strike with crit jewel is nasty. She can constantly use lightning strike and do little pokes at me, especially when I'm Vox. Like back and forth, back and forth, and I can't do anything. And if I try to do damage to her, well, she has armor plating, so I do less damage from her fronts. And I can't really get to her side and lane is easy. Uh, and also, eulogies. Eulogies will keep her topped off. So she is a very formidable laner right now, I feel, especially with the... Uh, see, she she had some changes. Let's go and just read it real quick. So, now applies directional defense to all damage types and sources. So, not just uh, weapon power, but also um, CP. She has armor against CP now by default. Uh, I think that was the change now. Yeah, shields down from 22 to 133 to 0 to 55. Same as armor. So, the armor and shield buff that she got is the same. Jewel gains 55 to 150 armor and shield when facing the sources of the damage. So, when she is actually facing towards the source of damage, she has more shields and armor now. Um, it looks like when she's around the sides, someone you hit from the side, she's a little bit more vulnerable. Which, okay, makes sense, according to her passive. So, in the front, though, when in lane, where being being the, da the damage that's coming from the front is the most prominent, um, she's doing pretty good. And it, it's, it's pretty scary, actually. So, I might even try Crit Jewel Lane here pretty soon, if I can get my stuns on point. Um, but yeah, that is but the issue I have with so far with the game, is this Jewel C or Crit Jewel in lane has been an issue for me, personally. Uh, but I think mainly it was just the player. <laughs> Although the damage is pretty high, um, I think mainly it was the player. Big Paws is a phenomenal player. Um, but yeah, Big Paws... I hate you. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but God, he cost me two rank matches. I won three that day, but I lost two because of Big Paws. Um, okay, so Castrol. Castrol's pretty good right now, I think. I've heard his CP is a little bit higher. Ozo. I haven't really messed around with Ozo yet, but I've heard he's a little bit better for CP as well. Petals, weapon power has been increased as well as the CP, but uh, I'll have to test it to see if I like it. Ryan apparently got nerfed, but he still seems fairly strong, which is good. And it's good that he's getting some refinements against, or not refinements, but more of a a, a rebalance against melee heroes because he was a little bit too efficient against melee heroes. And I think that the changes are, are good. Are they enough? I don't know. I have to like, get more experience with going against a rhyme as a melee. But from what I understand, people are still saying he's pretty strong. Uh, Scarf, I like Scarf again. I like Scarf before, but it's kind of been oriented towards more the Spitfire Goop combo, which I used to like. And now we're back to that, and so I'm pretty happy about that. I didn't really like the old Scarf. I, I just didn't find situations where I can use it properly. Not to say there weren't situations there for me, but I just I wasn't used to using the ultimate for Scarf at all since I was always a Scoop, or Scoop. I mean, I was always a Spitfire Goop Scarf myself. Um, Sky's damage has been decreased by 3% for her targeted damage. It's not much of an issue. Vox obviously got a nerf. I'll have to see with more testing with him if he is actually, like, severely affected by that which i assume the silence move to the second shockwave is pretty substantial but we'll still have to see um i like the the quality of life fountain of renewals uh projectile speed has been increased that's nice same thing with flare gun 
But yeah, I mean, the skins, I think, is the biggest thing for people right now with Update 1.17. They announced the skins, and then when the update came out, the skins weren't even purchasable or even unlockable, except for the Rona limited edition one, uh, which I would recommend just getting the cards. Although I think it may be broken, because I did three, unless there's like certain stipulations, but I did three, I won three ranked matches yesterday. I lost two, but I won three, and didn't get a single Rona card. Maybe it's the chance. But I thought it's automatic. If you win a match that day, you get the card. But I didn't. Um, so I won three matches that day, too. I still didn't get a single Rona card that day. So I was kind of curious about that. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend trying to do it that way, though, rather than spending the money. Um, oh, wait, no. You can't even spend money. I'm looking at this. All you can do is craft. I guess I guess um, all you can do is the cards. That's weird. Okay, so you can't even purchase it. So my bad. Um, you can only craft it. Interesting. Uh, Battle Royale's come out too as a queue. I've tried it out a couple times. I liked it. It's pretty fun, especially now you can use skins. I don't know if I really like think the being able to change your hero for 30 ice is pretty relevant, but the option's there for you guys in case you want it and you guys have a ton of money. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 1.17 is pretty cool so far. Uh, I was kind of disappointed that there was no new hero, but you know sometimes there's things get delayed because they want to make it perfect, and I'd rather it be perfect than broken, right? So I'm I'm better off with the update now than having a half finished hero or a hero that's just in balance attack. So plods off to uh, SCMC for making sure their product is good. Uh, I like that fact. Um, overall the update for me has been phenomenal. I have no issues with waiting for skins. Skins are cool but um, they're not necessary. They're just cosmetic stuff. Um, they're cool to have but I think patience just increases the hype, right? It, it, it increases that, um, that uh, hosti hostility you get towards a certain developer because you want the skin that that badly but you can't get it even though it's already revealed but I kind of understand the concept maybe this is what they're doing I don't say this is what they're doing but the the release of the skins being throughout the update I think is smart because what happens is if you release them all at the same time especially for doing this new format where they release the three skins for the one hero all in one go um, the tier one and two become completely irrelevant it's all about tier three and they want to make 1 and 2 feel a little bit more special, maybe. That's what I'm assuming. So they're going to space it out so that you know you can get you can get excited for a Tier 1. Then later on, you can get excited for a Tier 2. Instead of just plowing right through all your essence or you know your money and just getting all the cards right away, uh, this is a way for you to kind of maintain that excitement, maybe. I'm not saying that's what they're doing, but that's what I'm assuming is what it's for. Um, but yeah. So overall... Great update, pretty happy, excited to be on the house here unfold with you guys too for update 1.17. That is it for the update video, um, nothing more I can really say, Gameversation again is videos should be releasing no later than Wednesday this coming week, uh, daily uploads, any games really, uh, we got some action games, we got some adventure games, we got horror games coming, we got MOBAs coming, pretty excited. Um, while I was in the hospital, we were to talk about that. I was just being a a, a little crybaby, and uh, now I'm not a crybaby anymore. Uh, what I think of update 1.17 so far, yeah, that's it's good. And then also the clarification of I don't play on any of the servers in any right now. So if you see me on the C or E, it's not me. And my names, if you are curious what they are, are down below. So if they're not that, that's not me. Anyways, thanks you guys for hanging out with me here in the update video. I appreciate it. I'm going to get uh, some videos going now. I didn't get to record yesterday because I was in the hospital. So now I need to get hauling ass to get some videos done for you guys. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the house unfold. Maybe some of you guys will even show up in my video. See you guys there. Later.